Good morning. So today I'm at Wilgus State Park in Weathersfield, Vermont. <laughs> and I just got out of bed and I'm making myself some coffee. <laughs> I need all necessary coffee. And we'll step out of the van and get moving on for the day here. All right, now just having some coffee. <laughs> Most important part, make sure there's enough water. Yes, no. Stop that up. And while that's warming up. I'll show you something I picked up here. So while I was at uh, Moosehead Lake up in Maine, Northwoods Outfitters, no, not Northwoods Outfitters, excuse me, Indian Hill Trading Post. When I went up there to see the eclipse, I finally broke down and bought myself a uh, French press type coffee maker. This one's made by GSI Outdoor. So it's designed for camping. And I think it's a, a pretty cool addition to my camping setup here. coffee right inside there, put the water in, let it mix up, sit for about four minutes, press that down to push the coffee grinds out of the coffee and then pour it into the cup. <laughs> so this is what I've been using for coffee here. Let's see, I need some coffee. I'm gonna make coffee, I need coffee. Now we got coffee. All right. Scoop. This makes coffee a bit stronger than what I've been having before, which I don't mind. I throw my four scoops in. Yes, four scoops to make a big two cup thing of coffee. Yes, it needs four scoops. There we go. Now we just need some hot water. But yeah, I've tried this out a couple of times at my uh, New England Amateur Radio Festival, near Fest, and it worked great, so... Looking forward to showing it to you here. Now we just need the whistle. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that up. Yeah, I'll try this is in the right hand. Yeah, who cares? Okay, see what I'm doing here? Screen shut off. Yeah, you can see it. Ooh, splishy splashy. I'll pull that right into the coffee. That should be plenty. Stir that in a little bit with the spoon. I wish you could smell this nice coffee. <laughs> yeah. Spoon off a little bit because I'm going to use this for the sugar too. And oh, yes, let me timer here. Timer, four minutes. Okay, clean the spoon off. Get ready. And I'll see you guys in about four minutes. All right, four minutes are up. So next task. We're going to push this down and push all the coffee grinds to the bottom of the cup. There we go. And pour it in here. Get that beautiful cup of coffee right there. <laughs> All right.
an awesome view to wake up to in the morning. <laughs> right on the Connecticut River here. A lot of birds out there. This place is loaded with birds. A few small mountains in the area. This is nice. A little traffic noise. Can't deal with that. You've got the annoying trail that's right behind the, called the campsites, unfortunately. Or right in front of all the campsites, I don't know. <laughs> but it's nice here. So today we're having French toast, some sliced ham left over from a dinner, and some sausage. All stuff that tastes great with maple syrup put on it. <laughs> so, and this is raisin bread French toast again, which I absolutely love. Easy to make and tastes real good while camping. Some nice uh, fresh maple syrup. Which I like lots of. There we go. See how this came out. Hmm. And of course, coffee. It's turned out to be a beautiful day today. <laughs> Sun's out. 65 degrees right now, and it's going to be up in the low 70s before the day's out. I'm in t-shirt and shorts now, and I'm about to go for a hike. Dishes, uh, breakfast is done, dishes are washed, everything's, I'm all cleaned up. There's a few hiking trails I want to check out here, right on the property, so let's see if we can go find those. Not much of a summit, <laughs> 600 and some odd feet, but it was still a nice little view and really steep climb. So getting up here was a bit of a challenge, but I made it. Oh, we're gonna start working our way back down. There's another little side trail I gotta see if I can find, and I wanna go explore that. And we work our way back. So nice view up here. Certainly is plenty warm, and I had a friendly butterfly. <laughs> anyway, all right, onward. And find that other trail. Well, this is the split off here. I've been on Pinnacle Trail. Now I'm going to head over to Ridge Loop. Ridge Loop goes around that way and then comes back and rejoins the trail up there someplace. So I'm going to probably miss out on this portion of the trail. Hopefully, there's nothing uh, <laughs> special to see there because I want to do this trail instead. 
Okay, so that's where I came from. That's where I'm going. Sorry about the light on the lens here. That's where I'm going. You got a sign over here that indicates as such. But then you got over here that looks like there's some unmarked trails over here. They probably just uh, lead up to views of uh, Interstate 91. But I'm curious enough to see where they go. <laughs> so uh, let's find out. These seem to be uh, either abandoned trails or something else. But they're definitely trails. Well, not what I expected. <laughs> We've got a nice little pond over here. Some private property too. I'm not going to go any further beyond uh, beyond here. But somebody's got their own little pond. Nice. <laughs> not exactly the quietest place to live here, right next to I-91, but... Okay. There's a house over there. There's boats on the little pond. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like this. I mean, the trail continues onward. But it just goes down to that house over there, so notably into private property. I'm not going any further than here. Well, certainly not what I expected. I was expecting a, a trail that just did like an abandoned trail that got cut off when they put in I-91 somewhere along the line. I wasn't expecting a little pond with, with a house up there. <laughs> so there must be roads on the other side of that pond to get to it. I would imagine. Like I said, I wouldn't want to live right on 991 like that, but to each their own, I guess. It is a nice little pond. All right. Work my way back and then I'm gonna look, because it looked like there was another trail that branched off in the other direction. So I'm going to explore that one next. Okay, I'm back at the start of the unmarked trail. And I'm going to see if this is a trail too. <laughs> this sort of looks like a trail. It could just be a drainage ditch when it's raining too. So <laughs> we'll find out. This may not be a trail at all, but we'll see. Okay, I think I just got turned around and ended up back on the same trail I was just on. <laughs> so I guess we'll follow this back again. And we'll go from there. Nothing to see here. That was not a trail. It was just a drainage ditch into a little wooded area with a lot of fallen branches. Back on the main trails, now that we've <laughs> thoroughly explored the uh, unmarked trail system over there. Continue on the way that route was supposed to be going on. Heading back to my campsite. Ridge Loop Trail wasn't all that exciting either, so... <laughs> like I said, there's some nice little trails, you can get some exercise. But there aren't a whole lot of viewing points. That little uh, seat up at the top of the uh, summit area was probably the best thing I saw here. And it was filled with water, so I couldn't sit in it all that comfortably either. <laughs> but, all right. Heading back down the hill towards Route 5. We'll head back into across the road and back into the main campground again. I just had a nice chat with the park manager here. And he gave me some tips on some places to check out. So he says uh, this used to be an old picnic area up this way and you'll see some abandoned fireplaces and <laughs> that sort of stuff over here from, from the 1930s. So what this park originally was, just a little picnic area there, but that building uh, that, you'll, that you see when you first pull in was there in the 1930s. That's the manager's office then too. And now this is the old picnic area down this way. So they got some hike-in only lean-tos down here. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Not really my area. They're just too too much on top of each other, but I suppose if you had a, uh, a, a group camping session going on, it would be a good spot. Rent all three of these and bring everybody down here. All right, so this is supposedly the nature trail over here. Let's see where this goes. Okay, this sign has been heavily eroded over the years, but Wilgus State Park Nature Trail, rehabilitated by Troop 252. 
pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's see where this nature trail takes us. Well, they certainly did a good job rehabilitating it. Looks good. Well, it looks like somebody's recently gone through and raked it. This is pretty neat. Right alongside the river here. One of those CCC era fireplaces, <laughs> like I was speaking of. This would be all part of the kind of, I guess, kind of a picnic area down here. Hmm, okay, it's a loop. Alright, I'm going to go take the upper loop and come back to the lower loop then. Let's go this way. Nice, quiet little trail, though. Especially when there's no cars on Route 5. <laughs> Coming down on the end of the loop here. I'm going to take down, come over here and take a quick peek at the river, I guess. stream or something coming down there. Too overgrown to get any good pictures of the uh, river from up here. That's still a nice view. So these are certainly the fireplaces the guy was referencing. Seems to be all picnic area along here. <laughs> it's just eroded over the years so no place to really set up for a picnic. That's why you got these odd little fireplaces just sitting on the side of the trail like they are. See in these old fireplaces there where they would have had the cooking grate here. And if it was, would have sat on top of these metal things taken off or it was actually attached to them and they cut, the, cut it off. But it would have had a chain attached to here to hold the cooking grate in place. It was all thought of anyway. People wouldn't walk off with the cooking grate. They got these all around the property too here. These little signs talking, giving information about the various trees on the property. I thought that's pretty neat. This is interesting. Seems to be a little deck down here. An observation deck. To come back down here with my camera later on, see if I can get some bird photography in. And some water flowing. There's like a little waterfall across the way over there. I, mean, I can't see it here with this camera. But yeah, there's a little waterfall across there. Let's see if I can come back here and get some video of that later. Nice little view down here though. There you go. This is how they would have been configured with the cooking grates on them. And it says Vermont Park Service on it right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, that thing's heavy. Wow. Those things are heavy. And yet they have chain on them, make sure everybody's going to walk off with them. Who the heck's going to walk off with that heavy thing? <laughs> so yeah, this is how these fire pits would have been configured. Now you got your eastern white pine right by the cabins here. That's a tall tree! <laughs> and this starts us off onto the path that goes up along behind the uh, all the campsites now. Some pretty cool uh, ferns over here. Going alongside the water. Come up on another tree sign here. Black cherry. Ooh, I like black cherry. Nice. <laughs> and that brings us up to one of the coolest campsites in the entire place here. <laughs> Uh, back here, just in time, but I need a fresh battery for the camera. Fresh battery in the camera? <laughs> nice sight, and we'll move on. For the rest of this trail, I'm going to stop back and have some lunch. I'm starting to get hungry. Some of the signs talk about birds, too. And we've reached the end of the trail here. A nice sign on bald eagles. I knew I heard them here. <laughs> Not the best view, power lines, industrial places, Route 5. That's the bridge I drove across to get here though. It just goes right back into uh, Claremont, New Hampshire. Nice. Nice area. 
that was a good hike. Did about three and a half miles of hiking to get through all those trails and everything. I had to pretty much explored the whole trail system here, so nothing super exciting, but I could do get some nice views of the Connecticut River, so that's always nice. And maybe later on we'll get some uh, wildlife uh, shots in, who knows? We'll see. But for now, let's see, what time is it? 1.43, definitely time for some lunch, so... <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have another one of those salads again. So, simple salad, that'll get me going for that until dinner time. Used by May 8th, 2024. Oh, plenty of time. <laughs> oh. Let's see, what do we got here? We have chef salad with turkey and ham. Which is, as usual, mostly lettuce. Yeah, they never include enough dressing with these things. This is why I have extra. I used to carry a bottle of ranch dressing around in my fridge, but it took up a lot of space. It took me a while to get through it. I realized if I get a bunch of these, these don't require refrigeration. They're one use. But no, nope. got a kind of a nutritious lunch here, a salad. With the water. Should be good. Anyway, I guess that's where we're going to stop this video here. Uh, next one you see should be the full campground tour of the, all the campsites around here. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, remember, slow down and enjoy life. And also remember to be kind. So important. And we'll talk to you guys later.